One of the trendiest hot sauces around is Thailand's go-to condiment, sriracha chili sauce. And Denver native Jojo Collins is pioneering the way with her handmade sriracha company. Strap on your bandanas, it's sriracha time. All right, Jojo, this is a serious getup. Well, it's a little bit more fashionable than a hazmat suit, but <laughs> we're mostly gonna keep ourselves protected from all of these chili peppers. You've really had to become like a pepper aficionado, right? Yeah. Once I started experimenting with sriracha, the flavor profiles really came alive. So I could make some that were really spicy, some fruity, citrusy. I mean, that really speaks to the, the custom nature of the hot sauce that you're making. Let's, uh, let's, let's get into this. What's the first step? Okie dokie. So I'm gonna let you decide how you wanna run this batch. Really? We're gonna do 20 pounds. So the Long Hollands are a little bit more mellow in terms of heat, also this gorgeous red color. Absolutely. So we're gonna start with the Long Hollands. These are a great pepper to start with if you're making sriracha at home. These orange habaneros are definitely gonna have a nice heat on them. You wanna kick up the heat, you'll throw in more of those. All right, now I'm nervous to add a bunch of these guys, but we'll just start adding them. Let's do it. Sprinkling with the habaneros. They are nice and citrusy. They give this really great zingy kind sure. of heat that I really love. These red mushrooms, I think, are almost on par in terms of heat with the uh, orange habaneros. Uh -huh. They have a nice kind of floral punch as well. This is crazy. This is really how you do these batches. Absolutely. I think that this is the funnest part of making sriracha, is imagining what it's going to taste like, what the color's going to turn out to be. So let's start grinding these up. Perfect. That looks good. Before we open these up, this is where these are gonna come in handy because oh we're definitely gonna get some pretty heavy vapors. Take these tops off, give a little swipe. I can smell it, even through the, the handkerchief. Woo, baby. Next, we add some elements that set sriracha apart from regular hot sauce. Fresh minced garlic, organic coconut palm sugar, and sea salt will both preserve the peppers and start the fermentation process. All right, Jojo, how long will this ferment for? This one's gonna go for a couple weeks, so it's not quite ready, but I do have some stuff that is. So, this is pretty alive, so. Wow. It's like bubbling. It's literally alive. Wow. Well, that's like a science project right there. We finish the sriracha with vinegar, a buzz in the blender, a little time on the stove, and then it's into the bottles. Let's taste it. Let's do it. What do you say? Mm. I get the garlic, I get that vinegar, and you really taste the peppers. I mean, if I learn anything, it's that it's not about killing people with heat. It's yeah. really about embracing the flavor of the peppers. It's amazing, it's, a, it's an experience eating something like this. Thank you so, so much, this has been a blast. No, thank you.